So, you have decided you might want to build a plywood tank. This video will help you with some things you may not think about when you start the process. Don't be afraid Everything gonna be just fine It's okay Number one, plan ahead. I'm sure you just said, duh. But in your plans, did you plan for the size of screws needed and the type of sealant you plan on using? Planning ahead in this project is paramount because if you do it as thoroughly as possible, you shouldn't run into any issues. Hard to make ends me standing at the very end. Find a different means to a very different end. Number two. Expect issues to come up. I know, I just said, if you plan, you shouldn't have any issues. To be honest, there will be some issues. Some are bigger than others, depending upon how well you did plan ahead. Well, it's alright. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Everything gonna be just fine. Number three. Be patient. When I build another plywood tank, I plan on drawing out thorough schematics and waiting until I have everything I need before starting the build. I know it can be hard to wait, but if I could do it all over again, I would have waited until I had everything to complete the project. What you see. Number four, tools rule. Although a plywood tank can be built with simple tools, such as a handsaw or a screwdriver, it will take you a very long time to do so. Make sure you have the power tools you will need to be able to complete the project before it starts to make things go just that easier. So I, so Number five is probably the most important of all of them. Have fun. Remember, the whole point of building a plywood tank in the first place is to have the fun of building it to house some of your most prized fish. The joy you get from saying, I built that, and the knowledge of knowing every little in and out of the tank. Enjoy yourself. You paid for it. Money will replace all the damage done. No, I'll keep it moving on. Okay, that is my top five things to consider when building a plywood tank. I hope that helps you out. If you enjoyed this, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the like button and come back on Sunday where there will be another episode of A Diary of a Fish Keeper as well as Coffee Talk with Chris Sunday mornings at 7 a.m. Pacific. And just remember, guys and gals, we are feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.